you or we'll did just, I look at the look, camera? We'll figure this out. We're gonna go on the go. Okay, so here, take two. Okay. Hi, I'm Josh and Hi, I'm Bobby. <laughs> we just finished up our second visit with Bobby, who was our artist in residence for the six week workshop for January 2011. And we looked at clips from The Graduate, Body Heat, and uh, Gosford Park. And um, it, was, it was very informative, uh, really enlightening. I think the students really enjoyed it. Uh, what did you, what was your experience? Did you have a good time? You're on camera, I had a great, remember? I had a great time. I think they were very receptive and hungry for uh, knowledge about the process. And I think that what's interesting to, to show editing uh, young editors, aspiring editors, editor, editing students is that every editor has a different system and technique and way of approaching raw footage. And they are always presented with entirely different challenges, um, problems with production or just uh, the way a particular style or approach the director has to covering a scene and I think I took the the editors behind the scenes in a sense and showed them what was what were the problems and what were the personalities and the challenges and then what the editor did to solve those problems and make the best of the material um, and I think it was also interesting to watch some of the students work and and critique it with them and then have a sort of give and take with them and see what they had to say about why they made the choices they made and what they could do to make it better. We and, also talked about the politics a little bit today of editing and which was really which was I was actually surprised and really happy to see that they were really eager to learn about that and it is um, true that talent matters and brains matter, but personality matters, and not only that, but your attitude in a cutting room and being being a diplomat and being um, a comp willing to compromise and not be tenacious or possessive about your work is really important to be flexible, but also to um, have a sense of humor and perspective on the nature of the film business and is very important and they were really receptive to all those com the conversations that Josh and I had about that and I thought that was really wise on their part because it is part of what you have to know going in and I did tell them stories that some of the master editors I've interviewed told me about what they look for when they're hiring and I thought that was good good information for them to have and one of the things they said is that it's really important that not only do they know the technology and they talk about their experience and their expertise in, in that technology, but also that they really make insightful comments about the screenplay and they have some, some base of knowledge about film history and film aesthetics, which is also being taught here, which I was happy to hear. I didn't really understand what goes on at Manhattan at no a workshop. No one really knows what goes on. And I realize that Josh is also teaching um, aesthetics and film history as well as technique and that's really important and, and it's very um, encouraging for me to... Someone's to, about to walk in front of our frame here. Plus, I've been squatting like this for about, what, three and a half <laughs> minutes now? My thighs are burning. I think it's... Uh, but that was great and it's, you know, it's great to have you. We'd love to have you back whenever you're in, back around. And uh, I guess that's it for now. Talk to you later.